Hello guys. So I want to make a video about overthinking. Now that's something I do and lots of us do. And it is a blessing and a curse in one. Um, when you overthink, you are the kind of person who's just replaying situations in your head. Well, I could have done this and I could have done that. And it makes you eternally unsatisfied because even when things go right, you are thinking of ways it could have gone wrong or ways it could have gone, gone better. You're in a constant state of comparison. And comparison is the number one obstacle from happiness. Because when you're comparing yourself to someone else, you will never be happy with what you have. And unfortunately, we live in a world that we are constantly in comparison with ourselves, with other people because of social media. The second you wake up in the morning, the first thing you might do is go through Instagram and you start looking at pictures and you're like, wow, like that girl has an amazing body. Like I need to go to the gym or like, wow, like she can make food a lot better than I can. And instead of it motivating you, it's actually putting you down. And that's why a lot of these like fitspo pages are actually really harmful because on one hand, it could be motivating you to exercise and go out there. But on the other hand, it might be making you just feel bad about yourself. So I think it's really important to cut the comparison, be happy for other people when you listen to what's going on that's great in their lives. But don't think of yourself as better or worse. There is no judgment, there is no order, there is no hierarchy. You are given your deck of cards, but happiness is a choice. You can choose to be happy in any situation and you can choose to be unhappy. So I think that we have to stop thinking that once I reach the certain goal or I hit the certain weight or I get a boyfriend, I get married, I move to this city, then I will be happy. No, happiness is anywhere. Happiness is that homeless guy on the side of the street who's singing a song when you're sitting in your air-conditioned car pissed off. Why is he happy and you're not? Because he chose to be happy. And if you don't take the responsibility that you control, control your emotions, you will never find peace and satisfaction within yourself. Let me know if you have any questions. Namaste.